What's up guys, this is Vehicle Master 3000 here. What I got today is another spin-off. I don't remember exactly what this is called. I know it's made by the same company that had, that I got the um, knockoff Street Beats vehicle on. That Boom Zoomer or whatever the heck it's called. That Street Beats knockoff. That one's pretty nice and this one's pretty cool too. But this is probably the most blatant knockoff I've ever seen. Besides the Street Beats, I mean, it doesn't get any more obvious than the Street Beats knockoffs. Like, it's literally the same thing, pretty much. But this, besides that, this, this is probably the most blatant knockoff I've ever seen. Like, this is straight up pretty much a lightning rods. Now, I got it today at the flea markets, and uh, had it had a little bit of issues, but it, it was fixable. I don't, I'm not sure when this is made. I'm not sure how rare it is, but I'm pretty sure there's no... I know there's no collector footage. Like, no other collector has one like this. I've never seen any other video of it at all. But this is... Like I said, I got it at the flea market, and it had some issues. It was... It had the factory batteries in it, and it was corroded big time. But I managed to get that sorted out. Like, surprisingly, the springs are still in there. Like, they're barely in there, but... Thanks to some tin foil, I didn't, nothing snapped off, but I just stuck some tin foil behind a couple of the, or actually one of the springs and the others are somehow still holding on and it's still running on its original springs somehow, even though I'm pretty sure they're pretty close to snapping. But for right now, we're running on original springs. But anyway, it's beside the point. Got it working. And then when I first got it working, it was super loud. The, the motor, I mean, like that motor was, it wasn't making the, Squeak the screeching noise whenever motors need to be lubricated, but the gears and stuff were just so loud Like you could barely hear the sound when the vehicle was in motion or when the motors were motor was on at all So I opened it up. I actually had to open the whole gearbox up to get to the motor And I figured while I was in there I might as well lubricate the gears too because I noticed that when these Max turbo vehicles when they get corroded the gearbox also gets dry too. It seems like when, when if you find one of these corroded the gearbox is also going to be kind of loud too i know this so i lubricated everything in there and it's still kind of loud but it's it's like it's like having a lightning rods pretty much and it just sounds a lot more audible than it was a couple hours ago so now enough talking let's get on to the review so you got the front here and you just got the headlights now i'm pretty sure they ripped off like the lightning rods mustang for this it doesn't say it, but that's what this looks like. Very close. You got the grill kind of curved up in there. I guess even got the it's almost the same front bumper as the Mustang. And there's your engine in there. And it even still has the spinning thing like the lightning rods do, the spinning board. Now, I don't remember if the lightning rods have lights on either side of that board, like not hooked up, just hooked up to the chassis. There's like four lights hooked up. To the chassis in there. No, I don't remember if lightning rods have that or not. There you got the windshield. I was going to compare it with my lightning rods Mustang, but I figured that would take too long. So I'm just, if y'all want to see a comparison video, I'll make that a whole nother thing. You have three circle buttons. The middle one has kind of like an arrow to show going forward. Again, just like the lightning rods. Back when she owned it. And this is what's really like the Mustang, is the spoiler. The spoiler is the exact same one on the Mustang. It might be a little smaller, but it's the exact same design. I mean, there's the back of it there. There's no actual license plate. There's a spot for one, but there's nothing there. No working tail lights, just like lightning rods. It's freewheeling just like the lightning rods, like it has the flip gear system. Now, I've never opened a lightning rods gearbox to see what it's like in there because I haven't ever had to. So I don't know if it's set up the same way in there. This thing has a five gear gearbox. There's the info from the company. I think it's, I think these are made by Max Turbo. Same company that did, it's, it's something gear shifter, like, Top gear, I don't remember. Gear shit, I don't remember what it said, but it said something. There's the side. I 
And the speaker's in the back, just like the lightning rods too. And they even use the same kind of speaker bracket like the Road Rippers do. Well, it's not exactly the same, but it looks like it. So this is the sound chip they put on it. It has, the buttons go in the same order as the lightning rods. Just like the lightning rods, that button has three functions. Very interesting. There's a song. And then if you pick the wheels up, it even has the same thing as the lightning rods where the wheels turn when the song is playing, when the song is playing. Now here's the driving sound. turning I like the sound chip they used on this like just max turbo or whatever like honestly I think they're a decent for knockoffs decent company so I'm gonna see this drive it has about the same speed as a lightning rod too That's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I found something else at that flea market today, too, that I'll show that next weekend. So be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out.